and welcome to the fastest hour on Dirt Radio. It is Fast Track Weekly Live, presented by FK Rodian, Shortway Real Estate Incorporated, on the Fast Track Radio <laughs> Network, as well as on ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network. Big thanks to uh, jo uh, John Wesley in Indianapolis, Indiana, the producer, uh, J.D. Webb in California, and uh, and also Phil Fultz in Ohio at the HD Radio Network headquarters, getting this show started. It is going to fly by, and it's a special Monday night, because... We are on route, packing our bags, heading down to Florida for the 37th annual East Bay Winter Nationals. And coming up in about uh, after the break, we will have on Barry Broad with XCN TV. He'll be telling you all about the great opportunities to walk away with a free package for the entire week of the Fast Track Racing Series at the 37th annual Winter Nationals, plus the World Street Stock Challenge. There will be the opening segment for round one of the East Bay Winter Nationals. Four big weeks of racing. Coming up at the Clay by the Bay, located in Gibson, in Florida, on January the 30th through February the 22nd. Go to eastbayracewaypark.com, fasttrackracing.com, and of course, xan.tv for all of the information. Barry Braun coming up. He'll be talking about a big, major announcement. And this is an exclusive. He has given me an exclusive here tonight on ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network on a breakthrough in media broadcasting for races. We will talk to him about that, and we'll go to a quick commercial break. We'll thank our sponsors, and, and uh, again, we appreciate all of y'all tuning in. Also, our new guest from And the Winner Is Motorsports Show. Remember, our normal show for And the Winner Is is every Monday night from 6 to 8, but again, tonight is the special mo uh, Monday night edition of Fast Track Weekly Live. We will take a break when we come back. We will uh, talk about some news and notes going on with Fast Track, talk about what's going on with the Ultimate Super Series, upcoming race dates, and Barry Braun at 7.15 to the top of the hour on ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network. We'll be right back right after this word. GM Performance Parts are under every hood in Fast Track competition. GM Performance Parts, when performance really counts. Count on GM Performance Parts. Found in major parts stores all over the country. City Chevrolet is the race fan's friend with great low price deals every day on quality cars, trucks, and vans. Visit City Chevrolet online today at citychevrolet.com for an unbeatable online deal on a new or used Chevy vehicle. City Chevrolet, centrally located in the heart of racing country on Highway 74 in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. The little drive that saves race fans a lot. Wow, welcome back to uh, Fast Track Weekly Live on the ETV Live, powered by HD Radio Network. It is Wesley Outland here with you in Four Oaks, North Carolina. Hope you're tuned in around the world as we talk about the Fast Track Racing Series. And uh, again, this week, January the 30th through February the 2nd, it's the 37th Annual East Bay Winter Nationals at the Clay by the Bay, the East Bay Raceway Park. We've got a lot of great things going on here tonight on the program. And again, we normally do this show every... Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, but for tonight, we had to do the show on a, on, on a Monday night because, like I said, normally we are used to doing the show as, uh, as planned uh, for Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. But for reasons of us being on the road and packing our bags to get ready to head on out there to East Bay Raceway Park, I mean, I'm going to be getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning making the trip down there. So as soon as I get off here, we're going to do the sim uh, the event tonight with the RSR Icebreaker Winter Series. And then, of course, it's off to East Bay to Florida. But um, we've got a great, great show lined up for you tonight. Let's tell you our guest panel for this evening. Joining us uh, up, coming up for the exclusive 45 minutes left in the program. Of course, I'm going to go over some news and notes for you going on with Fast Track Racing Series as we kick off the Decade of Speed Tour this week for East Bay. But coming up tonight, Barry Broad with XN.TV. Uh, he is going to be giving us an exclusive inter announcement in regards to the... Uh, well, starting this week at East Bay for the Winter Nationals, and uh, XAN has exclusive broadcast rights for the East Bay Winter Nationals for the entire five weeks of duration. We'll talk to him about XAN TV, what's going, where's it going, how has it been created to where he has this big announcement to make tonight, and uh, 
According to this announcement, it's going to be a something people want to tune in for, especially if you're in the media and the industry market, because it's going to blow people off the face of the planet. And this is just, of course, quotes that he has given to me via Facebook. All that coming up at 15 after the hour of 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 Central, and 4 Central, if you're, uh, or, or 4 Pacific, if you're in the California area, as uh, is a producer, uh, executive producer, J.D. Webb is. By the way, uh, before we go any further, I, I did mention this on the uh, other show we have on Monday night. Uh, our executive producer, J.D. Webb, is going in for a very critical surgery um, for his health on uh, Wednesday. And uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him. Hopefully he comes out of everything okay, and uh, he'll be back rocking and rolling. So, Cowboy, we hope, hope everything goes well for you, and we appreciate everything you do for Fast Track Racing Series and for ETV Live. And uh, again, big thanks to everybody for tuning in. Uh, we are getting ready to connect here in about eight minutes or so with Barry Braun with XN TV. But of course, uh, the schedule was released, and I wanted to hit on this last weekend uh, or last Tuesday night. And there was just so much stuff going on. We had so many guests lined up. I really didn't get a chance to talk about it. But the 2013 schedule for the 10th anniversary Decade of Speed Tour was announced. It was a very uh, I believe it's a very impressive schedule. And what I can tell you is this. We've got a lot of things in the works. We are looking with the help of J.D. and John Wesley at ETV Live and HD Radio Network's Phil Fultz to start carrying the races, flag the flag, after East Bay. Uh, I will let you know that uh, Barry Braun has given us permission where we cannot air the races live this week from East Bay Winter Nationals. We can have them tape delayed, and we will broadcast them later on in the week. The faster I can get the files sent out, send them back, I will get it to John Wesley, and well, of course, I'm sorry, to Phil Foltz, and uh, he can get out the broadcast. But uh, anyhow, uh, I want to just throw out some news and notes. Over $40,000 on the line for the Decade of Speed Tour at the Winter Nationals. That kicks off this week. January 30th is open practice. And then, of course, on Thursday and Friday, January 31st and February the 1st, we'll pay 2000 to win. Saturday night. February the 2nd will be the big one, 50 laps and 3,000 to the winner. And, of course, this will kick off the 10th anniversary of the Fast Track Racing Series in the Southeast Mideast region with the City Chevrolet Tour Division. Speaking of Chris Knight and City Chevrolet, we'll have an announcement on that here in just a moment as well. But uh, we also have something entitled the East Bay Fast Track Bonus. Drivers that finish in positions 21st to 30th, will collect $150 extra money, not counting their purse money, and also if you finish in positions 31st to 40th in the all-overall three-race series points, you will be awarded $200. There's only one stipulation to qualify for the East Bay Fast Track bonus. You have to have perfect attendance for the entire three days of racing, not counting open practice for the 37th annual Winter Nationals. So make sure you make your uh, reservations at the hotel as well. Official host hotel is uh, at the 37th Winter Nationals is America's Best Value Inn and Suites located in Tampa. Just about 15 minutes as you get to the racetrack. Get this, guys and gals. Room rates are only $45. Now, where else in the world can you go to, unless you go to a cheap motel, obviously. But where else can you go to in the country for a, for a racing venue of this magnitude and get a hotel room valued at only $45 plus tax? Well, you can for Fast Track. All you got to do is simply call this number, 813-977-1550, 813-977-1550. Ask for one of the staff and ask for the East Bay Raceway Park Winter Nationals uh, Okay, the East Bay Winter Nationals rate, $45, and that's all it is. And bottom line, you can get uh, get down there to East Bay. It should be a great, great event coming up here. Uh, so i tell you what, guys, we're going to take a commercial break. Um, John, is there a way that you can, we can run a couple of ETV live radio commercials also? Let's put them in there to plug them. I need to take pretty much an extended break for about two or three minutes. And uh, when we come back on the air, we will have on Barry Braun with XN TV. 
coming up at 7.15. We'll connect with him. Uh, so let's do about a three-minute commercial break. We'll be right back. And, uh, again, we will have Barry Braun to take us till the 8 o'clock hour. Thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. I'm Wesley Outley and voice of the National Fast Track Racing Series, Fast Track Weekly Live, presented by FK Rodians. If you'd like to be a part of Team FK, go online at www.fkrodians.com. Also, by the way, big thank you to the fine folks of Short Ray Real Estate Incorporated, Jason Short and everybody at Short Ray Incorporated, if you would like to be a part of their great organization reminding you to take the short way home they are one of the top real estate markets in the commonwealth of virginia call 276-213-4098 that's 276-213-4098 as you will hear in this commercial with my voice with short way real estate plus the uh, all of the fine folks from fk rodians and we'll be right back in about three minutes and we'll connect with Barry Braun with XN TV, and we'll talk about the schedule also. Stand by, Fast Track Weekly Live on the air on a Monday night as we get ready to pack our bags and head to East Bay on ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network. Owens, Moyer, Burkoffer, Mars, and Davenport all get dirty with FK. Jimmy Owens wins! FK Rod Ends is a family-owned American manufacturing company, supporting the racing world for 25 years, as their Rod Ends have helped some of the nation's best or late model drivers find victory lane too many times to count. Lucas Oil, late model national champion, Billy Moyer! Dedicated to quality, FK is your answer in the Rod End game. So why wait? Get dirty with FK. For more details, go online to www.fkrodians.com. FK Rodians sponsors all broadcasts on the Fast Track Radio Network. I need new struts for my 2000 Toyota. Let me see struts by AC Delco, Monroe, and any under $50. Uh, we might be able to get some struts from the warehouse. Why watch the counterman tap on his computer and hope he chooses the right part? Go to rockauto.com. Auto and body parts from hundreds of manufacturers. Choose the brands, prices, and features you want. Auto parts at the lowest price. Conveniently delivered to your home or business. Log on to rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Shortway Real Estate Incorporated, conveniently located off of Intersection 91 and I-77 in Whitfield, Virginia. Services all of Southwest Virginia in residential, farms, recreational, and commercial properties. The company is owned by Jason and Judy Short. Judy has been in the real estate market for over 15 years and is the broker of Short Ray Real Estate. And they have two of the top agents in Southwest Virginia. Their goal is simple, to provide the best customer service and build business on repeat clients. You can get pre-approvals in less than 20 minutes. They have many properties located on over 300 websites nationwide. You can call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for customer service guaranteed. And guess what? Licensed in Virginia, they can show you any property listed in the Commonwealth State. They're located at 1205 East Main Street in Whitville, Virginia. For more details, call 276-223-4018. That's 276-223-4018. Short Way Real Estate Incorporated reminding you, take the short way home. Welcome back, everybody, to the fastest hour in dirt radio on a special night, on a Monday night. And, of course, it is uh, Fast Track Weekly Live here on uh, ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network. I, of course, is, am your guest, as always, Wesley Outland. I hope you're all doing great, or your host, actually. Our guest is on the line with us now. Uh, and this weekend, well, actually... Well, actually, from uh, the entire duration of the 37th Annual East Bay Winter Nationals, you can be able to keep up with all the excitement of this great event, this great event. It happens once a year, and it normally is the kickoff to the start of racing for dirt tracking. Joining us on the line right now 
Uh, if in cold, chilly, ice, snow, I hate it. We had some of that come through here Friday in North Carolina. I'm, just, I'm, I'm ready for Florida. Ready to go down to Florida. Barry Braun from XAN TV, the executive producer of XAN TV, is joining us. Barry, great to have you on, buddy. Thank you, sir. Well, I'll tell you what. For those that are new followers of the show, Talk about XN TV, how it's got started, where it's come about. And by the way, you've got an entire 45 minutes because we go off at 8. And the entire segment is devoted to you as we get ready for East Bay. Because if people cannot go, now, uh, let's throw this out there, Barry, and I'm pretty certain you will back it up with me. Nothing compares to being live. Nothing compares oh. to being live and seeing it in person. But if you can't, what a better opportunity than to keep over the Winter Nationals at East Bay Raceway Park than falling on XN. Yep, this is our fourth year at uh, East Bay Raceway Park. Actually, what happened is, uh, you know, four years ago, Chris Grainer of Motorstats.com and I got together in the prior years. Uh, uh, just out of the blue one year, uh, Lucas Oil Series called me up, and, and uh, they needed help with their audio. Right. And I had helped them with that and um, got that rolling for him but then i had discussions with chris because he was actually doing the live timing at the time uh for that event still will do it this year with motor stats right uh and it and it came together where you know we're like well why don't we do video and so we discussed it over the year and and, and discussed equipment and put the money together to actually buy the equipment definitely got the equipment uh i would say about four days before we started our first year and uh basically we had to figure out that equipment on the fly and we did our broadcast the first year uh the first year that we did it at east bay was actually six weeks and uh if you want to talk about boot camp or you want to talk about you know something that's really gonna you know get you you know either break you or make you it it was that Right. And um as time went on we've uh we've learned uh you know better production. We've worked in different sanctioning bodies, we've worked in different forms of motorsports, we've um experienced, you know, fantastic opportunities. And we built up our, our name and our brand over that time and uh last year was a very pivotal year, uh doing the IMC Super Nationals, the duel in the desert, of course we did East Bay again. We did the Tulsa shootout, and we also launched a project with IMCA called IMCA On Demand, which was on-demand video of uh, strictly IMCA racing. Right. Um, but what has happened over the last month, actually, is it's morphed where we've combined IMCA On Demand and XAN, the pay-per-views, into one project. Okay. And... Basically, what it is, is we will continue to cover IMCA like we always have. IMCA is great partners of ours. But we decided to expand to more sanctioning bodies and more, you know, different of mold reports with XAN. Right. And, and, and the on-demand part, uh, combined with our pay-per-views. Now, the pay-per-views will be, you know, once every couple months. Uh, a pay-per-view is, is a huge undertaking, huge undertaking. And it has to be the right event. It has to be the right timing. Um, there, there's things in a, in, in a pay-per-view, um, you know, sense that uh, it has to be a good business decision because uh, you can definitely go backwards real fast on a pay-per-view. Um, we found that the on-demand element was working really well with IMCA on-demand. So when we did switch it over, we actually went to HD and it makes the product look even better. Then on top of that, um, again, a very pivotal year, like I said, we've had some opportunities come along now where um, we've left this, this this announcement to your show for tonight. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Do you want to wait till till the end of it, or 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 you want to let the cat out of the bag and continue to mention it? What do you want to do? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I have no problem mentioning it now. Uh, you know, we're definitely going to make um, make some make some noise with it this year. Uh, what we have done is um, partner with a company called Teradec. And what Teradec does is they make products for cameras that are, uh, you know, wireless. Right. Um, 
making it, you know, able to transmit your camera feeds uh, much easier, uh, not using cable, things like that. The long and the short about it is, is we've created a program, we've tested it, uh, has worked fantastic, but what we are going to offer our subscribers to XAM uh, that pay the, you know, the monthly, or actually they pay the yearly fee of 60 bucks is not only are they going to get content in HD on demand, but there will be anywhere between 12 to 24 live races on XAM this year that are part of the subscription package. Right. Meaning... You are not paying any extra than your subscription. So um, you're going to have hundreds and, you know, potentially thousands of videos by the end of the year in HD on your demand at all times, whenever you want to watch them. And then strategically we'll place different, t- what is called Teradek race feed. Uh, we'll put them on the schedule and give people a different, you know, taste of, dirt track racing or, or whatever we might be able to um, contract. Right. And a, a nice mix. Now, I was actually talking to my partner, Chris, about this, you know, not a couple hours ago today. This isn't rocket science at, by any means. It is an, it's, it's just like cable TV. Uh, when you buy direct TV, dish, whatever, what have you, any, any form of cable that you might have, you pay to get Speed Channel and ESPN and all of those, right? Yes. Um, basically, what it is is we are creating a platform much like an ESPN or Speed that you pay for, and it's just on the Internet. As you know, uh, it's reached further than the Internet now with the t- you know tablets or iPads, mobile phones, right. and things like that. So, and, and all of our stuff is available on all of those different devices. So... In a sense, what we're doing is creating that um, because there, there's, there, there's many reasons why uh, we're doing the Teradek race feed, and, and a lot of it is because of the fact that we're able to go to a track with one guy, one camera, one tripod, and one Teradek. Right. And we're able, to, we're able to broadcast a very quality produced one camera show. Some people might ask, well, you don't have the three, four cameras. You don't have this. You don't have that. When it's all said and done, when you get down to the nuts and bolts of it, a majority of the shows that we were we would be able to go to can't afford to have a pay-per-view crew from a business model standpoint, and we're probably one of the cheapest in the industry. We have things refined very, very well. They just it can't make enough money. There's just not the level of interest that needs to be there to have full blast pay-per-views for every dirt track race every weekend. And this is kind of the in-between. At the same time, you still get a quality feed. You get to watch races live. You get to experience it like you're at the track. Right. And for, for the hardcore race fans, that's all they want. So we're adding that to the schedule this year. We're adding that to um, XAM. I believe it's going to be a, a very important piece of our business moving forward. Uh, the pay-per-views, they, they will continue to go on, and they'll continue to do good. But there is increasing competition in the pay-per-view market right now. And it's my firm belief that eventually, with with all of these folks that are getting on the bandwagon now and, and trying to do pay-per-views you know, monthly or every couple months, it's going to start to stretch people's wallets. Right. And they're, they're going to have to start to make decisions on, you know, if they can afford to get, you know, a couple different weeks of the super or the Winter Nationals, be it at East Bay or um, Belusia or whatever. I mean, if you really think about it from a late model perspective, if you picked up all the crate and the super late model racing at Florida this year, it's like a $150 bill. And that's out of control. That's just straight out of control. $150 buys a lot of things. Yes. And so we need to tame it back a bit. We need to get it to the point where we're able to offer exceptional value to the subscriber. And that's kind of where, you know, the direction that we're going to point in with with this new program and try to rein it in a little bit because eventually what it's going to do is there's going to be so many options. It's going to fracture and 
you know, the, the pay-per-view stuff will start going away faster than it should because of, you know, increased competition or people that think that it makes more money than it does. And so that's, you know, with XN, that's what we're moving forward with in uh, 2013. And we even got one of your ultimate races already on the schedule there at Virginia Motor Speedway, the USA 100. Yeah, and I, and I know that uh, that Ernie Shelton, the promoter of the 34th annual USA 100, announced that on the Fast Track Show last Tuesday night, as a matter of fact. Yep, that is correct. So we have a, we have a long standing relationship with the Virginia Motor Speedway. I know Dave C. very well. We've worked together for years. And they're very uh, interested in, in the race speed program, so we're going to ha- have it out there. Uh, on the 18th of May, and USA 100 is a, is a very storied late model race. But when it's all said and done, you can get your subscription to XN, $60 for the year. That's going to be one of the races included. You'll be able to watch that race as part of your subscription. Absolutely. Hey, by the way, I want to send this out uh, real quickly before we go to commercial break. Still Barry Braun with us. we got another half hour to go. Uh, balance of the points. The checks should be out by no later than the end of this week. Just want to let everybody know that. We've got a lot of people that asking about the, uh, the payroll checks uh, from the points of the, uh, of the races in the World Championship and uh, for the overall season. We will, I just got this handed down to me, we will be taking care of that by the end of the week for the remaining of the checks that are owed out to the drivers. I uh, promise you, we're not going to try to keep your money. We're going to take care of you, and those checks will be t- handed out and uh, took care of in the mail by the end of this week. Uh, Barry, real quickly, quickly, man, we're going to take a quick break, and I uh, want to tell you about everybody that, uh, you know, if you if you want to call in, if you want to be a part of the show, if you got a question for Barry, 317-489-9388. That's the number, 317-489-9388. You can call in. Uh, please keep it about the topic of either XSAN or, or, you know, with racing. Don't get off subject, please, because I will disconnect you. Also, please remember to have your... Uh, uh, speakers turned down, so we do not have any feedback issues as well. But uh, Barry, stand by. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back in the second half of the show, I want to talk about how the promoters think about these broadcasts and why promoters feel it's such a negative negativity of the sport doing audio pay per views or doing uh, television pay per views. Um, I want to talk about uh, you know uh, just the great incentive package. I want to talk about the whole sixty day. Of, uh, of, of great entertainment that people can see for not just watching Fast Track or, you know, any of the other great things that XSAN is covering for the entire 37th annual East Bay Winter Nationals. So we'll talk about that, Barry Braun, right after the break. Our special guest on a Monday night of Fast Track Weekly Live here on ETV Live, powered by the HD Radio Network. We'll be right back with Barry after these words. GM Performance Parts are under every hood in fast track competition. GM Performance Parts, when performance really counts. Count on GM Performance Parts. Found in major parts stores all over the country. City Chevrolet is the race fan's friend with great low price deals every day on quality cars, trucks, and vans. Visit City Chevrolet online today at citychevrolet.com for an unbeatable online deal on a new or used Chevy vehicle. City Chevrolet, centrally located in the heart of racing country on Highway 74 in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. The little drive that saves race fans a lot. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Fast Track Weekly Live on a special Monday night. It is a Monday night edition of the Fastest Hour on Dirt Radio. The reason being is we are all packing up and we are heading to East Bay. I will be getting up around 2 o'clock in the morning and heading down the interstate, heading to Florida to, uh, to the Citrus State for the 37th Annual East Bay Winter Nationals. Barry, is all of your XN crew already down there? I know, I know Chris Nunn, who's the, uh, the announcer with you guys. I've been following him on my Facebook and uh, tweeting with him a little bit. And uh, I know he crossed into the, to the Florida line around... Uh, I guess four o'clock, five o'clock this afternoon. Uh, is all of your crew in place, ready to go? Yeah, they're uh, well. They're on their way there. They actually stopped at the uh, competitions track there on the way, and uh, I was buying that up. But yeah, they're probably actually arriving in the East Bay in Tampa right now. 
Um, all the equipment's already there, ready to go. So they'll set up tomorrow on Tuesday. And then actually on Wednesday, and this is something people really don't know about, but practice is going to be broadcast for free. So if you have the ability, get over to XN.TV, and you'll find the access to the free practice. We usually do that if we have enough time, if we're set up in time, things are, you know, all the stars aligned. We'll, we'll broadcast practice for free so people can kind of get a look and a feel of what's going on with the pay-per-view that's going to be coming up. Absolutely, definitely. And I want to thank uh, Maria Fargola and FK Rodians. And by the way, I just want to say, go Team FK, uh, uh, or go 49ers. Uh, Maria is a big fan of the San Francisco 49ers. And by the way, the, the, uh, the Vegas odds have the Ravens, brother versus brother, the Ravens beating the 49ers by three points, 27 to 24. And they're also predicting that this might be the first time ever in the history that you might see the Super Bowl go into overtime. But anyhow, that's all tied in with Maria Fargola and FK Rodians. If you'd like to be a part of Team FK with great drivers on the Fast Track Tour, ready to kick off the decade of speed like David Smith, Ryan Atkins, Steve Hendren, and many others, go online to fkrodians.com. And for Shortway Real Estate Incorporated, 276-213-4018. Big thanks to them for what they do in the dirt racing world as well. Uh, reminding you, take a short way home. And Barry, again, we talked about it before the break. How do promoters adapt? And, and what is your thoughts of this? And, and we talked about this in a very lengthy conversation the other night. Um, but in a short one, because we only have another like 27 minutes left to go on the show, what is your thoughts of promoters and why they feel the way they do of thinking that pay-per-view video broadcasts or even the, the audio broadcasts is something that Fast Track Racing Series used to do for a amount of years, something that no other sanctioned body did, and then they took it away. And now they're wanting it back. And I will let everybody know that we are working out things. Uh, I want to say, Barry, thank you to you because I know that you and XAN have exclusive rights to East Bay, but I do appreciate you at least letting us be able to get the audio coverage from the events this week and at least play it back sometime next week on ETV Live Radio for us, buddy. Well, you want me to keep it short, uh, so I'll try to keep it short. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it, can get pretty, it can get pretty lengthy when it comes to talking about promoters or sanctioning bodies and things like that, uh, exclusive rights. When we started this four years ago, we saw the writing on the wall. And basically, uh, the way that I look at it is, is the form of major league sports, there's a trickle-down effect. Usually what happens in, in dirt track racing or different sanctions that are, that are considered niche motorsports, it happens five years later, ten years later. And we're starting to see that. Um, at first, you know, when we first started this, there was no way in hell that we were going to be doing some pay-per-views at a lot of these tracks. Right. Um, as time has went on, uh, we've done plenty of pay-per-views throughout the United States and different sanctioning bodies, different forms of motorsport. There's competitors of ours that have done the same thing. And it's starting to open up. Uh, promoters are starting to look at it, see it, and they understand it. In different forms of motorsports uh, that we've been involved in, snowcross, off-road, and things like that, it's actually done for free. Uh, the sanctioning bodies pay, you know, companies like Exan to come in and show it for free. And you'll notice the difference when you go and look at the grandstands. You'll notice how packed the grandstands are. You'll notice the electricity in the crowd. And there's a reason for that because what they're doing is they're promoting. And part of promoting is putting risk on the table and saying, hey, I'm going to go and put my product in, out in front of people. I'm going to take the risk to do that. I'm going to take the risk to get sponsorship. I'm going to, I'm, that promoting is not a very solid business model a lot of times. Exactly. You, gotta really, you have to really, really take some risks. And some of the best promoters throughout the United States are the ones that have taken the biggest risks. Right. The ones that, that haven't are the ones that usually follow, and then they catch on to it later. But those aren't what I call promoters. Those are what I call maintainers. They're maintaining a business model. They're maintaining the risk so they don't lose their butt. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. That's their business. That's what they want to do. That's fine. But to expect growth in their audience and growth 
growth for the sport overall. It just is not going to happen unless you're getting to a mass audience. I can, you know, one thing I was doing yesterday was watching X Games. Right. They have, they have Snowcross on there. And their presentation, obviously, it's ESPN. And it is phenomenal camera work, phenomenal production, millions of dollars. Yeah, but what do you, ex- that- what do you expect? It's ESPN. What do you- Right, but at the end of the day, they're putting that sport on such a huge platform, and the the amount of interest in in that into that event into snowcross, right? It's huge. It's absolutely huge to the point where the teams basically, when it's all said and done, take that event, and that's what they sell their sponsors on for the whole season. There's other there's other snowcross events, there's other snowcross sanctioning bodies. But do you see where I'm getting at there? Yeah, absolutely. There's there's the risk of that promoter of that sanctioning body putting it out to a wide audience, whether it be television, the internet, whoever. And it's a benefit to the drivers in order to get that exposure. Now, so you can't have it both ways. You can't close that door and expect to have the numbers. Yeah. So a lot of promoters ride the fine line, and they maintain. They find that their business model, you know, they can only do so much. There's no problem with that. But at the end of the day, they can't expect their stance to be full. I agree. If they're going to do that, if you're if you're going to take the risk down, and you're going to try and keep it safe, then be prepared that you're going to have a safe audience. Right. And that's it. You're going to reach a ceiling, and that's going to be it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, because that's that promoter has what their butt on the line. Okay, that's their decision that they want to make. Same thing with the sanctioning body. That's their decision. As far as from my perspective, or from XAN, or you know, what we do to 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 work with the promoters, the sanctioning bodies, they need to make money. Right. So if it's gonna if it's just like NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, there's rights, there's media rights. Yes, yes. ESPN, Fox, ABC, and all of those folks pay for those rights because there's a certain value. They put those shows, NFL, whatever, on whatever night of the week, day of the week, and they make advertising dollars because of it. Fair enough. So that's one thing I want to hint out to people. You know, if, 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 again, I, I know I've had a lot of people talk about another competitor, and I know we, we're good buddies with Michael Rigsby and DirtOnDirt.com. But look, let's just throw this out here. Dirt on Dirt, they had exclusive rights to whatever they do at Eldor. They had exclusive rights to whatever they done at Arizona. And, it, you know, it's, it's not a matter of trying to take business from somebody, but it's a matter of, you know, trying to be in the right market and financially gain the advantage. And to do that is to have exclusive rights over everything. And of an event of this magnitude, it's it's it's... They've got to make a decision, obviously, Al Varner to win the people at East Bay in, uh, in wanting to have their product be something of great quality. You have proven that, Barry, and all of your x and crew have. You, this is, what, the fourth consecutive year, and I believe this year you have exclusive rights to the whole event. Right. Now, let's get something straight. There's exclusive rights and there's a monopoly, okay? Right. And when a... Again, I'm going to go back to this analogy with Major League Sports. When, when they pay for the media rights with a, uh, with a certain sports league, they are offered those rights to make that money. But there's also media rights involved where, you know, say a Fox or the show that ESPN's going to get highlight clips. You're not going to cut off ESPN's business. Exactly. By no, mean, by no, no way, shape, or form do we want to cut off anybody else's business. There's, there's a way to compete where you can all work together, and, every, and it can work out for everybody. Now, at the end of the day, whether one guy has better quality or another and it gets more customers, well, that's for the fans or the subscribers to figure out. Okay? And why, why are so the promoters it, afraid, though, Barry? What, what, what causes that? Why, why do promoters want to be negative in this time of the year? Is it because of the economy? Is it, I, I mean... Ha- how, why, why, do, why do they want to make it, it seem like hard to try to put together 
internet broadcasting for motorsports of local grassroots or you know something like East Bay or any type of well obviously not East Bay because that was all for the X Sand deal. But why did, why is there so much negativity these days towards wanting to do broadcast? I don't know if there's so much negativity. I actually I've I've actually I think that from what I've seen over the last year especially, um they're they're more open than they've ever been. Uh there's some doors that have been open recently uh that we've negotiated that I didn't think three years ago we were gonna have a chance in hell to get. Right. And a lot of that is based on the success that you've had before. And again, that goes back to what I was discussing when I, you know, there's, there's the guys like East Bay. They are the leaders that put this together with us. They're the ones that took the risk. They saw the writing on the, you know, they saw what can happen to this. Right. And as time goes on, other promoters got on the, on the deal, got on the bandwagon, started to do it, and they've seen, okay, there's actually some decent cash in it. The other thing is writing checks for people. Checks are getting cashed. Everything's good. You know, they're making money. Well, word starts to get around. Yeah. And they're starting to see that. I think the negativity that you might see for, from others is, you know, that there's not a lot of pay-per-view events in dirt track racing. Right. There's just not. There's maybe six to ten that are going to be healthy pay-per-view events. It's hard to go and tell a sanctioning body. It's hard to tell a track. It's hard to tell a promoter about reality. The reality is it's just not going to make any money. And it's a niche audience. Nothing wrong with that. But it's just not going to make any money. Your local Saturday night, Friday night dirt track on a pay-per-view is not going to make any money. It's not going to make any serious money. It's just not. It's one of those things where, from a business standpoint, the amount of money that has to be put into it to do it decent, you're just not going to make any money. That's where the, that's where the race feed, the Teradek race feed idea has come into play, where we can offer something that will make the money because as part of that program, we're not messing around with it. When we do a race feed, we go to a promoter, we say, we're going to cut you a check for this amount, and that's it. There's no risk on their part. We just pay them. We pay them for the rights. We it, put it on. Uh, and, I, and that's... Go ahead. That, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's, and, and that's where we've looked at you know, our business from that perspective where, yes, there will be pay-per-view events that we will do, but a majority of them are going to be race feeds, Teradek race feeds with one camera, maybe a couple cameras, run by one guy who happened to be filming and producing at the same time. And that business model will work on these niche events that can't handle the cost of having the big crews come in or the risk that that, uh, that event might rain out. And all your travel money and, and your wages and things like that are down the toilet. Right. So I don't think it's very negative. In a roundabout way, I don't think it's it's – the industry is as negative as it was years ago when we first started doing this. What will happen over this next year as things proceed, as we continue to negotiate rights, as our competitors negotiate rights, it's going to close doors for other companies, and they're not going to be able to have the rights that they're used to. They're not going to be able to have the accessibility that they're used to. Right. Um, you know, the local camera guy isn't going to have the ability to – film the race and put it on YouTube for free anymore. And that's just business. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. And, and uh, Go ahead. I, I just wanted to throw out there, we need to take another break. When we come back, we will, we'll, we, you know, we'll, we'll definitely dab into this a lot more. This will be our final sub subject. Uh, again, Barry Brom with XCN TV joining us. Just a wealth of information. I want to find out what's his thoughts of, of, of covering Fast Track for the first time this week, where he thinks Fast Track is going, what can happen with that Fast Track with XN. And, uh, oh, again, interactive. If you got any comments you want to put in the chat box, you can. You can call us up if you want to be a part of the show. 317-489-9388 is, again, the number. But, again, uh, just want to remind you, XN.TV, the official website, www.XN.TV. Click the link and find out about all the uh, pay-per-view coverage for the Winter Nationals. A great price, a bang for your buck. Was it $35, I believe, Barry, before we go to break? 35 for the whole week? 
35 for the whole week, and then as part of that, you get a 60-day free subscription to X-Fan, so you can watch not only the Fast Track stuff live, but then you can watch it the next day, days afterwards, weeks afterwards, because you got 60 days. On top of that, you can watch the late models, the Lucas Oil late models on demand. You can watch the Chili Bowl, the IMC Super Nationals, and a bunch of the other events that we've done over the last three years. We've got piles of archives that we are adding to the website in HD that nobody else has. The value is phenomenal this year. Absolutely, and again, of course, they will be a part of the broadcast, the exclusive rights for the Fast Track Racing Series and, of course, the 37th Annual East Bay Winter Nationals. By the way, I don't want to take anything from uh, what else Al Barnador's got going on at East Bay. They've also got this big event called the World Street Stock Challenge. That's also going to be incorporated with the main event of the Fast Track Racing Series. Three big days of racing, actually four days. And again, you can go to xsan.tv on Wednesday, January the 30th, and see open practice for free. And I'm pretty certain Chris Nunn will be on the mic calling the action. He'll be working with me as well. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, was uh, it's just going to be something, you know, Obviously, the practice is not the racing, but you'll kind of get a hint seeing the type of camera angles and what great production that um, Barry has put together with the crew at XSAN.TV. Final break. When we come back, uh, we will finish it up with Barry. Thank you so much for being on tonight. By the way, just real quickly, before we go to break, I just want to remind everybody, uh, City Chevrolet has continued a great partnership with Fast Track Companies International. That was announced over the weekend, uh, Chris Knight, uh, the parts manager at City Chevrolet with Hendrick Motor, uh, with Rick Hendrick, has uh, reached an agreement. They will be back on board with Fast Track with a very great continuing long-time partnership. And uh, not only that, they will continue to sanction uh, the Fast Track Southeast Mid-East Touring Division, which will be at East Bay this week for the Winter Nationals. And again... Uh, also, a, a big thank you to uh, Sweeney Cars and Chuck Fitch and uh, everybody there. Scott Deal, uh, the former car chief for Tony Stewart, was uh, had a seminar. And uh, thank you for them doing a great job. And also Max Blair and Robbie Blair with the Blair Racing Team. Max Blair, winner of the World Championship last year, was a part of that. It was a great seminar. I just want to send a big thank you for everybody from Fast Track that attended. And I want to let everybody know in the Northeast, we uh, put out a PR the other day on Friday about it. We are looking to possibly put together a Fast Track Northeast Series show exclusively for the Northeast. We'll dab on that uh, in the upcoming weeks, but I uh, don't want to take anything else from the guests we have on tonight. Barry Braun, but I did want to get them news and notes out. We're getting ready for East Bay. XAN TV is going to be a part of it. Fast Track of the Decade of Speed Tour kicks off this week. Final break, and we'll come back and wrap it up. On a Monday night of Fast Track Weekly Live with our guest tonight, Barry Braun, tuned in on ETV Live, powered by HD Radio Network. Shortway Real Estate Incorporated, conveniently located off of Intersection 91 and I-77 in Whitville, Virginia. Services all of Southwest Virginia in residential, farms, recreational, and commercial properties. The company is owned by Jason and Judy Short. Judy has been in the real estate market for over 15 years and is the broker of Short Ray Real Estate. And they have two of the top agents in Southwest Virginia. Their goal is simple, to provide the best customer service and build business on repeat clients. You can get pre-approvals in less than 20 minutes. They have many properties located on over 300 websites nationwide. You can call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for customer service guaranteed. And guess what? Licensed in Virginia, they can show you any property listed in the Commonwealth State. They're located at 1205 East Main Street in Whitville, Virginia. For more details, call 276 276- 223-4018. That's 276-223-4018. Short Way Real Estate Incorporated reminding you, take the short way home. You're listening to the Fast Track Radio Network. The voice of the premier Pro Late Model Series in the country. The Fast Track Racing Series. All 
All right, everybody, welcome back to the program. Wesley Outley in here with you, getting ready for the East Bay Winter Nationals. And, of course, as I've always said, and I've said this for a number of years, nothing compares to being live. The excitement, the thrill, the activity of just being around that atmosphere. But if you cannot be at the East Bay Winter Nationals, any, beginning this week or, or until the duration is completed, uh, January the 30th through February the 22nd, the gentleman we got on the show right now and his crew are all going to be down there. Barry Brand, executive producer of XN.TV, is on the line. Barry, just real quickly, talk about what great ideas you have got with the entire pay-per-view of the Winter Nationals and uh, final segment of the show, and this is going to be all about just what a great thing. Uh, people need to really pay attention to these great ideas you've got. Instant replays, great audio, the awesome camera shots, and I'll let you tell more about it. Go ahead, man. Well, I don't know if they're great ideas. I think it's uh, refined ideas and things that we've found out have worked over the years and, and hours and hours of broadcast. But basically what it comes down to is when we do a show, we film it in HD. Uh, you've got the widescreen, what they call 16.9. It uh, looks fantastic. It streams fantastic. Good averages, kicking it out so that everybody can enjoy it. That's the first thing. Uh, we don't run any commercials at all. It's a pay-per-view. If people are paying to view it, they're not going to get any commercials. We don't run loops of commercials. There's nothing that is going to deter the interest of the race fan away from watching the broadcast. Right. Um, there's many reasons we do that, but I'm a firm believer that if you are paying to view something, you do not have commercials. Uh, we don't let a camera sit there and flap in the wind during the intermission or things like that. We go and film tons of segments and interviews and things like that to keep moving the story along. We want to tell a story like if you're at a racetrack. We call it the experience, okay? Okay. Like you're experiencing being at the racetrack. So you have your heat races. After you have your heat races, you have a couple segments with the different drivers. You move on to your B mains. After that, you have some things that help pump up and get you started for that A main. And then you have your, your feature. And that's the way it should be. There should be no dead time. There should be entertaining segments, getting to know the drivers that are in the cars. I mean, there's a lot of stories to be told. And I don't think wasting time on commercials helps any of us if that happens. I'm going to go back to it again. If you're paying for something, if you're paying to watch something, you're not paying to watch commercials. Right. And, in fact, I'm a very firm believer that the – if, if you have a limited audience like that and somebody is paying to advertise, what good does it do them to have a limited audience? It's not a good return on investment. Okay, now, now I have a question, though, because obviously we have to take a commercial break and we got to thank Shortway Real Estate and FK Rodians, and that's just the way how the business goes. But if you're starting to build revenue and you have companies that jump on board, Barry, that want to sponsor the pay-per-views and you might already have people lined up, how, how did, obviously, the word is to get the word out about their companies and what they're doing without going to commercial. How about do you still generate that and make it work to, to make them want to still do advertising with you at XAN? Absolutely. And that, we have many, many partners that are a part of XAN, New Vision Graphics, many companies that support us. We use their products. We wear their products. We give them mentions in the broadcast. They might be a race sponsor. They might be a feature sponsor. Right. Okay. Somebody might use their products at the racetrack. Well, we try and make sure to go and film the person that's using that product and discuss what their product is all about. Not a 30-second commercial that's going to make people bored out of their mind. And they're just going to skip it because that's when they go to their bathroom breaks. That is an effective form of advertising and playing ro just reels and reels and reels of commercials. Right. That's the way we do it. We integrate it within our program, much like a PBS does. When PBS does a program afterwards, they're like, hey, this program presented by the following companies, right? And that's what we try to do. We try to get our advertisers the biggest bang for their buck. The biggest bang for their buck isn't going to be playing reels of commercials over and over and over again to the same audience of a couple hundred people. 
And that's just a firm belief that we have. Again, it's the trickle-down effect from watching, you know, bigger major league-type broadcasts, and we've seen how they work. Um, there's obviously a reason that they work. Right. And there's a reason they've been in business for a long time, because they do it the right way. Um, again, not rocket science. We're just taking little ideas from them and seeing them into, you know, a smaller form of motorsports. So, again, that's what they're going to get. HD quality, streamed well, uh, the widescreen, no commercials, multiple camera angles. And, and let me touch on this quick, too. Everybody's been really, really tricked out about, oh, we've got multiple cameras, we've got multiple guys on cameras and things like that. Right. I'll be very blunt with you. There's one thing that we learned at the IMCA Super Nationals broadcast, and I can't say this enough because we had many, many people, and our fans are the ones that speak for us. We give them what they want. They don't want too many cameras. Absolutely. Because they don't want you switching multiple times, and especially if you have a producer that doesn't know how to switch or doesn't know how to switch racing. They don't want that. They want it to stay on the racing. They want it to be on that view that they're used to, looking right to left, right to left, going around the track. Absolutely. Right? Uh, Barry, man, we got to wrap it up. We got less than a minute, and I told you as fast as we got you on, it would fly by. But if absolutely, just so many great ideas. We got to get you back on here again. Uh, and real quickly, before we let you go, just let everybody know how they can get the broadcast, where they can go to the free open practice, and what we are doing for the fast track fans before we sign off uh, from the folks at XN TV. Great interview, my friend. Go to XN TV, www.xn.tv, not .com. TV. Right. Go there. You can hit register. There's the different packages for the Fast Track and the Street Stock World Championship Week. It's $35 for the weekend. You can get the full weekend. You get 60 days of on-demand HD content with your subscription package. On the day of, on Thursday, is when we'll start selling daily packages, which are $15 a day. So you can go right now, get the cost savings, 35 bucks, get the 60-day package with that weekend package. Right. The daily packages, you don't get the 60 days. Just on the weekend packages and the week packages. On top of that, on Wednesday, we will have practice broadcasts for free. And we'll have more information in the next couple of days when the crew gets everything sorted out. And we'll get that put up. Definitely. XN.TV, Barry Broadman. Thank you so much for being on the program. We've got 10 seconds left to go. For everybody going to East Bay, thank you so much. God bless all of you. We appreciate you being on the program. Have fun at the Winter Nationals. The Decade of Speed starts this week at the Winter Nationals. Good night. God bless. Thank you so much on ETV, on the HD Radio Network. We appreciate all of our listeners.